What's going on, boys? Brief video on TE, but an important one. I had an epiphany. You're familiar with the FI type who acts the way you expect an FI type to act. Talking at the wrong moments, talking too much, talking about shit people don't care about, or that make people uncomfortable without their realizing they're making them uncomfortable. Maybe being charming, probably not, but generally stepping on the vibes and imposing their own. That's going to be most FI types. But I've always had a disconnect with a different sort of FI type, or rather a TE type, because we are aware TE socializes in a similar manner to FE, but it's different. And typically, previously, we examined that difference as socializing using TE, but from an FI lens. I am now realizing TE in socializing has its own lens entirely. The other sort of FI type, or TE type, exhibits all the traits of an FI type, except when they socialize, they make the right moves, or socially aware, socially conscious, socially precise moves that are good for them. I realized this listening to the Patrice O'Neill playlist, Jim Norton, Chris Jericho, historically uncomfortable argument between two ENFPs. One who is FI preferring, Jericho, and one who is TE preferring, Norton. I'm listening to the argument and the entire time the build up and during the argument, all I'm thinking is, both of these dudes are ENFPs, but they are so completely different, both in demeanor and in action, especially in socializing. But again, they are both very much ENFPs. Dominant any scrambling, inferior SI, not giving as much of a fuck as maybe you should until you need to, but importantly, FI as you know, values and a willingness to get into a conflict to uphold those values. And then TE, both highly self-promoting people, but approaching that promotion, approaching that forwarding of values via socializing completely different ways. Jericho does it in the typical FI type way. Feeling interesting, trying to seem interesting, fingers in all sorts of different pies, high energy, willing to shit on the vibes to get all those things across and promote himself. The key here being promoting himself. In socializing, FI types, or TE types, tend to have a specific goal in mind. And that's very different from FE types. And when I say goal for TE, I mean accomplishing something tangible. FE types will approach socialization either to enjoy the vibes, or to tinker with the vibes, or to learn something. We have goals, but they typically aren't that clear-cut. A TE type approaches a social interaction with something specific in mind. That's where Jim Norton comes in. A TE type who knows how to play the social game, but in a completely different way from an FE type's method and reasoning. Jericho feels offended you are not paying enough attention to him. He's an FI-preferring T-type, or an FI-preferring ENFP. 
he will say to you directly, probably in an embarrassing or even threatening way, hey, I'm talking to you, stop looking at your phone. Jim Norton, a TE preferring, or TE outlook maybe preferring, FI type, ENFP, might ask you if someone texted you pictures of black dick. That's subtler because it's a joke, but he still worked you out of whatever you felt comfortable with and into where he wanted you to be. And in that way, it doesn't just have to be comedy. Other subtler methods of imposing TE using social manipulation without affect, a Patrick Bateman sort of thing. If you use FE, you'll run into TE types who are absolutely 100% TE types or FI types, and they'll be saying all the right things to you, but they'll be doing it with zero emotion or zero genuineness, and you can feel it but they are saying all the right things. They're doing it because they have a goal, and to their mind, they don't need to feel genuine inside themselves if the cheat codes they're putting in get them the result they want. It's not that TEFI types are inherently socially fucking stupid, although many of them are inclined that way, it's that, not just in socialization, but in general, TE cares about the end result. Or what they think is the end result. Meaning, if a TE type thinks learning how to manipulate socialization will better get them where they want to be, then that's what they'll do. If they don't feel that way, then they won't. Jericho and Norton. Jericho is or was a strong, intimidating guy with a lot of charisma. Henley, Henley, Henry Rollins is the same way actually, what a fucking dick that guy is. But they can afford to be that way because other aspects of their personalities or their other skills can get them where they want to be without having to pay close attention to the vibes, or develop subtler social skills. Jim Norton is not charismatic in that way. Jim Norton is not intimidating. Jim Norton is a small worm who likes to get pissed and shit on. And I can't hold that against him, but to get where he wanted to go, he needed to learn how to pay attention to the vibes and play them, use them. Jim Norton can get what he wants without always making people feel the way they probably should, which normally would be an FE skill. The issue being, an FE type might feel bad about doing that, not out of moral superiority, but as a natural weakness. A socially adept TE type has no such weakness. The issue being, because they don't actually feel the vibes, they can't course correct when their skills fall apart. There's no natural intuition to it. Jim Norton is a worm. It's a joke, but I mean it. Jim Norton can say all the right things, but his record shows every single time. If there is a better coattail to ride, he'll ride it. Anyone else be damned. The main thing to pay attention to in all this is it's not an easy dichotomy between FI and FE. Socially stupid and socially suave. That is not at all how it works. TE can develop keen social skills to achieve their goals if they think those social skills are the best path to achieve those goals. 
but they are just that. They are skills. They are not natural, intuitive senses. They aren't wet or biological. They are very much mechanical. And that's why you'll occasionally run across the odd TE type who is very clearly a TE type, but knows how to socialize well. This has been bugging me for years, and it is just now making sense. Realizing TE sometimes socializes well, and it's because of goals. And trying to achieve those goals, that's what it is. Like, you can look at a phenomenon and know it's happening, and, well, know it's happening, but being unable to explain it is going to keep you up at night and stress you out. We have, I think, figured it out. But that about Rippity Wraps this one up. I hope you enjoyed watching because I certainly enjoyed making it. I was not planning on making a video for a while, but damn if that didn't hit me like a lightning bolt and I needed to do it right now. Right now. Like if you enjoy, because it helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't, because we do this shit sometimes in comments thoughts, because I love hearing from you. What are your examples of a socially keen TE type or FI type who is still obviously a TE FI type? Thanks again for watching. We really have a lot of fun on this channel. So much fun, in fact. It can hit you in the head, and you'll realize immediately you need to do something, because it's just so fun, and you don't get opportunities like these often. That's what I'm trying to have on this channel, and I look forward to doing this with you guys again in the future.